So is the game any good on the Vive? Yeah, it's really good. I enjoy it a lot. It's not perfect, but to tell you what, it's... I. Good lord. I've played this so, so much. I love it. I stopped playing it, and I'm ready to play it some more. It's really good. Some experiences may vary, but personally, I like it a lot. Right, McCready. Is that purified water? It is. Is that more? It's a bowl. McCready? You better be watching my back. Damn it. Find him! Find him! He's right there. Time you want me to carry some of that valuable gear you're lugging? Getting bad vibes from this place. You said you didn't want to carry shit. Here. Yeah, no, it's creepy as fuck. Ah, shit. Hey, that looked like it hurt. Kinda did. A little bit. That should be all of them now. Alright, you ready, McCready? this. Do you need a lot of space for many game uh many games I'm doing it in the bedroom realistic. Um basically the space I've got mapped out here is the absolute minimum the Vive will even do. So you like you can see this blue box on the ground. That's the minimum space I can do and actually technically it's a little bit small because my desk is right here. Let's set the control down on my desk. But um most games to be honest, you don't need a lot of space. There are some games that require a certain amount of space, um, but a lot of them, playing them in your bedroom, yeah, it's pretty realistic. You can do. Uh, usually, if any game has a space requirement, it'll tell you. It'll say you have to have this minimum space for it. But um, yeah, the box I've got right now is absolute minimum. So, because my office is kind of small, where I used to live. Before we moved to this house, we had a nice giant space and it was lovely. Like I can't play Hollow Ball anymore. <laughs> Hollow Ball was really fun, I loved that game, but I cannot play it in this tiny space, so. But yeah, for like games like this, for Fallout, for like maybe even Skyrim, stuff like that, yeah, most games you can play pretty easy. Most of them you just stand in one place and play. So it's pretty good. So yeah, if your bedroom's not like super tight and tiny, you could do it. So that's not right. Oh, no, wait, hang on. Huh. It spins. Alright, I have to spell this out, right? Flashlight. <laughs> um, let's see, we have to spell railroad, right? I think that's what I have to spell. Oh, so it starts with R. And then, let's see. I'm 
spelled rail. I don't think it's gonna matter. don't have anything in your room it's about three meters by three meters three meters by three meters is actually above the minimum because I think the minimum is 2.5 by 2.5 I think I think that's the apps well roughly that I think uh, the Vive website will tell you what the minimum space is but yeah there's there's a couple games that require more space but most of them don't so and some you can even sit down technically I could sit down playing this game but <laughs> I, I need to stand up so stop right there hi you went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting but before we go any further answer my questions who the hell are you who are you why don't you tell me who you are first in a world full of suspicion treachery and hunters we're the synths only friends we're the railroad so answer my question I followed the Freedom Trail, looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are Deacon. Where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal out there. Of course I am. Yeah. I've been pretty busy. You know, you're practically famous. The Brotherhood of Steel let you into their ranks. That's a hell of a thing there. And, as if that wasn't enough, the railroad owes you a crate. Hell, a truckload of Nuka-Cola for what you did to Kellogg. I will take it. He was our public enemy number one. So you're vouching for her? Yes, trust me. She's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? <laughs> Be vague about it. Uh. You're the only ones fighting the Institute, and I want to take them down. I'd like to say that nobody comes here out for blood out for revenge that everyone's here to help their fellow man that would be a lie though so everyone here is out for revenge almost everyone very few members of the railroad have been spared tragedy at the Institute's hands that tragedy is the glue that binds us together if we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Duh. A married one, sort of. <laughs> well, she was a robot, and then she got a synth body. Nice synth body. Uh... Yeah, I know about them. Yeah. I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property. As tools. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Well, it depends. It depends on the circumstances. There's no middle ground with this. Would you risk death to save a synth? Look, if the synth is a dickhead, of course I'm not going to save him. Of course it matters. It always matters. Can you elaborate? Answer with your gut on this. <laughs> your heart. If you have Look, to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? Look, if, if I'm eating breakfast, if I'm eating breakfast in the morning, and the synth just walks in my front door, comes into my kitchen, and shits in my cereal bowl, 
I'm going to let that slide, and I might still take a bullet. But if he then drinks all my milk, no, that's it. Fuck him. He's done. <laughs> if we're done here, let me know. I risk my life for people every day. Makes no difference to me if it's a human or a synth. Well said. You were right about us. We're the only ones in the Commonwealth McCready. enough or stupid enough to fight the Institute. And we could use more sisters in arms. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. McCready, why the fuck did you dislike that? <laughs> Don't know why you hated that shit. I don't like it down here. Not one bit. Oh, we did it. Good. Uh, let's see. There are some games that require a space 1.5 by 1.5. I think that's the smallest. Yeah, I think maybe that's it. Something like that. I mean, some like some say like room space, and others, what is it? They'll say standing space or room space or stuff like that. Like you can play this game sitting down, literally. You might be squat, but you can do it. I've, I've seen a lot of people do it. Uh, let's see, you're curious how many games have you found that are in fact worth getting a Vive due to the extreme price? I would say at the beginning, because we got this pre-order, so at the very start, it wasn't that worth it. It was fun, but then we, you know, we did some VR stuff and then because a lot of the games at the start were the same. They were stand in the middle of shoot at everything. Or they were just simple like puzzle type games. Um, a game like Fallout. If you like Fallout. If you like Skyrim. I would say definitely make it worth it. Now I will warn about one thing. Um, a game like this. There, with a vibe, there's something that I, I say this all the time. There's something called the screen door effect, where you know if you like look through a screen door, things look kind of blurry on the other side. Because um, like right now, everyone in the distance does not look crisp to me. But it's because the more I try to focus on them, the more I can see the pixels in the headset. But you honestly get used to it really fast. It doesn't bother me so much. It's kind of annoying at first because you're expecting like. If you've played Fallout before, you're expecting that kind of crisp god rays everywhere, and you don't really get that. Unless you're, well, let me preface that too. Let me correct that. If your computer's a beast, if your computer's a beast, you will get a lot better graphics than I've got. <laughs> I'm running this game on a GTX 970 with a very kind of crappy CPU. So, my game, my computer's actually under spec to even run this game. So, um, but it runs just fine. See, like a game like this or Skyrim, I would say it's definitely worth it if you, uh, like say play Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous, I don't play Elite Dangerous not in VR. I haven't even tried it without VR. Elite Dangerous is a blast in, in VR. Um, and then there are some games that kind of do the, do both. You can play in VR or not. Um, and there are some good ones out there. I would say... I would say Fallout and Skyrim, to me, make it worth it, but... If your budget's really, really tight... Like, I mean, if buying a Vive is gonna really put you in a crunch... I'd recommend waiting, see if you can find it on sale. Maybe on eBay or something. Um, but if you've got, like, some spare cash, then yeah, I would say it's worth it. Because I enjoy it. I love VR. This is one of my favorite games. I'd love Fallout to be able to play it in VR. Is dead ass amazing, let me tell you. Let's see. So, if you get a vibe, you should go with the pro version. You got the top of the line everything. The VR score system needed a 7 to pass. And you got 11. Po you got 11. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, if you want to go pro, like I say, if you've got the scratch to do it. Sure. Um, this is just a standard Vive. Um, yeah, my computer... The CPU is actually the weakest part. Um, a GTX 970 is actually good for VR, which is what I have. But for Fallout, it's actually not good. My CPU is not good. But, I, like I say, I play most VR games Man, without a problem. Really so. a um, 
yeah, if you get an 11, geez, maybe go. If if you've got the money, uh, go for it, I guess. I would say. I mean, I don't know. To me, the Vive Pro is neat, and I would like to see a Vive Pro. But, um, I don't know. For that price, I feel like the, the Vive Pro isn't a big enough jump for me to reinvest in it. So, I kind of wait like wait for the Vive 2 or something, but there's no telling when the hell that's coming out, so. I mean, yeah, I would say if your computer can do it, go for it. Absolutely, you would, you would reap the best benefits for it. Because the better your computer, the better things will look. So. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. And obviously I'm modding this game, if it's not dead ass obvious. <laughs> Do you really have to be so cagey? Cagey? Nice hair. Hell, that was downright hot. Why aren't your lips moving? There it goes. Are necessary. Oh, you were talking. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. How much? <laughs> so, tell me. Why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game. But we don't have that luxury. Really? Is that all? You just don't give up. <laughs> all right. I have a short list of people I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so maybe I asked around, did my homework. If you hadn't found us, there's a chance I would have found you instead. Thanks for saving me the trip. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. Me? You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. I have but no ass. I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's going to be a wild and dangerous ride. But probably nothing new for someone like you. Fine. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. All right, that's where the gunners are. Back in the day. Oh hey, welcome back. Hey. Let's see, Vi Pro discussion again. Yeah. Uh, Fates World was considering possibly getting one. Learned that it doesn't come with peripherals, so it's around a thousand bucks. Yeah, if you want the peripherals, it's about a thousand bucks. Just the headset hey. alone is like eight hundred. So yeah. Well, yeah, if you want to, you can you can get the full kit, like the eight hundred, like what is it, eight hundred bucks, like eight hundred and fifty bucks, I think, for just hey. the headset alone. If you want the whole kit, which comes with the new towers, the old towers still work. The old controller, the, still the same controllers. Um, but yeah, like it's uh, hey. If you want like to spend 850 bucks, you can get the standard Vive, or if you want to spend a thousand bucks, you can get the Vive Pro, basically, to get the whole kit and caboodle. Uh. Last quarter of this year, as far as rumors go, for the Vive 2. Okay, hey. I haven't heard anything about it. I've not heard anything about it, so that's cool. Definitely, I'm definitely going to wait on that then. 
The hey. Vive 2 is the, the Vive 2 is known already? I didn't know that. I know nothing about this. I haven't kept up with it. There are a couple more full-size games to support the Vive out with Fallout 4, Skyrim, Elite Dangerous, Tabletop. So oh yeah, Tabletop Simulator is pretty hey. good. And the full room scale kit is not out, which is the selling point for you for the Vive Pro. So yeah. So yeah, I haven't heard. Yeah, I, I haven't heard anything about the Vive 2 yet. Specs or anything. Hey. What? <laughs> Are you just doing that, Mom? Mom? Hey. Mom? <laughs> yes. We'll file out separately after you leave. Best not to attract attention here. I see a horn under that hair. I can't wait to get out of this place. Gives me the creeps. Listen, G519 went through a lot. But she was good. Solid. You're a sinner. I don't know if I did right by G5. This whole thing feels shitty. Kiri better be worth it. With Curie's scientific skills, there's a real chance she'll help a lot of people down the line. Yeah, here's hoping. I should have said no. Damn it. G5 was like family, and I let this happen. Just leave me alone. What are you talking about? Come here again if you need to. Know. How do you know my wife? <laughs> All right, guess we gotta get out of here now, don't we? Let's see. You're more surprised by the announcement of the Vive Pro after they announced the Vive 2. Somehow I missed that. Yeah, the Vibe Pro, like, I've seen reviews of it too, and they say it's a good upgrade, but it's just not enough of an upgrade, so. Plus, there's, like, the better towers uh, that they've been working on that use one rotor motor instead of two. Not that that makes much difference, but. Yeah. It's like, if I do this. Yeah, you can see I've got one tower over there, one right behind me. What time is it? 5.15, okay. Let's quick save. Yeah, give it more time. If, if like, I guess, I suppose that the 5.2 is supposed to come out the last, the end of this year? Yeah, definitely wait then, I would definitely say. Um, and more stuff will be out, you know. Tunnel snakes rule! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I heard that a long time ago. <laughs> that actually surprised me. Like, I forgot. McCready's from the Capital Wasteland. I was like, where the hell did you hear that? <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's, he said he's from the Capital Wasteland. <laughs> there is actually one of the Creation Club things, I think, actually show on the road. Uh, does bring the Tunnel Snakes into the Commonwealth. But I heard it's not really that worth it. It's kind of neat, but it's apparently not worth it. Is that just the barrel? Uh. Yeah, and I suppose if you do wait to pick up a Vive, you know, Fallout VR and Skyrim VR, probably I'd be pretty cheap by then, so. Yeah. Pretty good. I get a, like I say, I get a lot of use out of the headset just playing this game alone. Am I off cam? <laughs> I'm probably back on cam, right? I tend to slide off cam without knowing it. The small resolution increase on the Vive Pro is as good as far as needed hardware power goes. The sharpness did not improve as much as we thought it would. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I was probably off cam a moment ago, <laughs> and then I moved back. Okay, let's see here. I need to figure out. I need to figure out about this overdue book. Because I can't seem to complete that one. So I must have the overdue book in my filing cabinet. Right, let's head back to my place then. We'll drop some shit off and then see if we can find that book. What the hell is the Starlight Drive? I 
is more than anything. More than anything, I want to see VR become a lot more accessible because it is so pricey right now. Are we under attack? We're always under attack here. How are we not? Yeah, there they are. Every time I come home, these assholes are out here. That one had missiles on him. Bit slow on the draw, McCready. Hey, dog meat. Just quick save. Shot my shoulders off cam. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so basically most of my space is okay. Like over here, let's see, there is a wall here. Of course, there is a wall directly behind me, but I'll brush against the green screen. If I go over here, I might actually bump my chair and I might kick a box that's right there. Then I know my desk is like right there, so I'm sort of spatially aware, sort of. Yeah, if I well, I've kind of got markers on the floor, so if I kick my shoes, I'm over there too far. If I kick a plushie, I'm over there too far. If I kick a box, I'm over there too far. <laughs> I can sort of tell where I'm at, sort of. Hey, Curie, you out here gardening again, hun? Don't worry, we'll go again soon, dear. I mean, your ass is showing through that dress. Not that I'm complaining. Seems to be growing well. Need these moot fruits. Uh. Moot fruits, those are gourds. Let's take these. These will go in the factory. Oh, <laughs> my factory's still running. I can hear the filters hitting. Uh, I planted some melons over here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I planted these forever ago and then placed a water thing right on top of them. McCready, are you ready for the next mission yet? Kind of taking up my time, buddy. Looks like the glass is going in. Yeah, it is. Nice. We made any more? We made, yeah, we made some more. Still no more ammo. Uh, I need to see if I can get a lead shipment. I don't know what we're missing. What are we missing? This ammo, probably fertilizer. Copper, oil, fertilizer, no, we got fertilizer. We might be missing more fertilizer, though. What did it take? I bet the computer's not working again. Every time I come here, it's, it breaks. No, it still works. Okay. Ammunition plants. Uh, let's see. Make these. What's missing? Copper, lead, oil. Copper, lead, oil, and fertilizer. Yeah, we're missing fertilizer. I thought I put, oh, I bet fertilizer's still in here, isn't it? It just hasn't come out. Uh, yeah, there's more fertilizer in there. It's making its way around. It'll happen. Let's see. Uh, It's good that the vibe went from 1500 to start to 500 at the moment. It wasn't it like 800? 
I don't know. Then again, that was in euros. We spent like 800 euros on ours. Once it hits 300, your friends are willing to get one also. I think the pro is the vibe too. Learn why Skyrim and Fallout VR have such problems with sharpness. It's actually almost completely based on the game's engine. Use the anti-alias together with the render being deferred. Yeah, I kind of figured that as much. Um, the engine is the biggest limitation on this game. Because the, the engine was not made for VR at all. So yeah, it, I, I know that was... I, I pretty much guessed from day one that was the problem with the game. Was that the, the engine just wasn't able to handle it as well. So hopefully, I'm really hopeful, see, when the next Fallout, next uh, Elder Scrolls, or next whatever Bethesda's working on, because apparently they're working on some other uh, RPG open world that might be the new IP, hopefully they'll build that one to be VR ready, because that would be amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm still online for a little bit. Might have to refresh. Uh, it's not called the HTC Vive Eclipse no longer. Vive 2. Look it up. Okay. Oh, it's now called... Oh, it's now called the HTC Vive Eclipse. Okay. Alright. Cool. I'll have to look into that. To get the mods at enhanced base building. I've got some mods for base building. One, I've got place in red. I've got um, I've got some stuff that enhances manufacturing. I've got um, I've got uh, sim settlements with rise of the commonwealth. This settlement's the only one that I didn't do that with, and at the time I installed it, this this place actually didn't have a settlement. Now I know the updated sim settlements actually has a place for this place now. Um, but I'm not going to bother updating it because I know they changed some other stuff as well. So, what is that coming out? Oh, it's ceramics. Okay. So, yeah, I've, I've added, <laughs> obviously I've added mods. You can tell by the ponies walking around, but yeah. I've, I've added some building mods because <laughs> there's no way these train cars and buses would be that close together. Otherwise. Okay, um, what was I going to do? forgot what I came here to do. I was going to check on something else as well. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and put our junk in here. We could give it to... Um, uh, we could give it to that one place on the beach. And I don't worry about it this time around. Like this here is a recycler, so it's going to take all this stuff and break it down to its most basic components. Uh, let's see. That one's fine. Steel will go straight through. Upper skull. Eh. Uh, let's see. We picked up some melons. Moot fruit. Purified water. stuff. Nice. Purified water will just go straight through, no problem. It should. I have to think about it for a moment. Wait, is that not purified water? Yeah, there it goes, the purified water. Nice. I love this thing. There goes moot fruit. Sweet. I'll let that run. Has anything fallen on the floor? No. Putting those signs up has helped. Of course, a lot of stuff was going through the sorter, so. Still the same new Just need more shots. 
Yeah, so that's how she's gonna go around. Sweet. You added some for recipes and whatnot can make fertilizer from plants. Oh, that would be a good one. Oh, yeah, I was gonna... Uh, that's right. I was gonna see... I could find shipments of stuff. That's right. Oh, good. You're here today. Hi. Looking to buy? Yeah, I am. I'll take a look. Sure. Let me know what you'd like. Uh, let's see what do you got. Oh, you got fertilizer. I'll take some of that. Concrete shipments. I don't really need it though. Copper. Never has any lead shipments. I'm getting to wonder if lead's a shipment I can even get. Anything particularly made out of lead? Because that's another sh that's another short I'm coming up here. This is fiber. Oh. You can have some books. Thank you. That'll go in the system and give us some more ammo. Alright, there's nothing else. I guess we can go on. We don't need to stick around here. Uh, looks like it's going to be easier just to head there on foot. So let's head there on foot. You saw what the motion controls are going to look like, and it's very interesting. The new ones? Because I've heard the new ones are going to maybe look different. Possibly they were going to have, like, finger control to them. That was all, like, this was stuff I heard, like, probably six months ago, to be honest. So, don't take any... Oh, yeah, I know what I came here for. I need to see if I've got a book in storage. That's right. Because there's no overdue book I was supposed to return, but I didn't seem to have it. So, that's what I came back for. So yeah, I haven't, I haven't kept much up to date on like what the new controllers are gonna be. Hey, dog meat. Protecting my gnomes? You better be. Uh, Blackjack is still here thus far. Good. <laughs> Maybe she's finally stopped uh, going away. Oh, let's see. Do I have an overdue book crammed in here somewhere? No, I don't. I don't have an overdue book. Where's the book I'm supposed to return? Or it's... Oh, maybe it's... Oh, good lord. There's so much in here. Maybe it's called something else.
Or is it just a, or am I misunderstanding it? Is it just an everlasting quest? Like just keep putting books away. Kasumi stuff? See, I can put Kasumi stuff away. Couldn't put Dima's stuff away. Surely if I had it, it wouldn't have let me put it away. Huh, it's not being here. Don't know, don't know. Yeah, go ahead and link, no problem. Two, which is now called the Eclipse, was announced before the Vive Pro. Most information, the old NC, most information on lockdown, so reviewers have to treat them confidential. Okay. If you know how, you can look up the filed patents in the New Zealand Patent Office. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. People probably find that stuff pretty quick. Well, people find shit pretty quick all the time, anyway. Right, so then, let's see, this quest then. Traveling. Public knowledge. Return to Daisy. Oh, I guess we just need to return to Daisy. Where the hell's Daisy at? Where's Daisy at? Uh, this is the library, right? Yeah. So hang on. Daisy. Oh, is it all? Oh, is it at the old corner bookstore, or is she at the old corner bookstore? That's what's missing. Yeah, that's what I'm forgetting. I don't know. Later is a powerful prototype rifle. Does not. <laughs> that thing is weak sauce. Even when I upgraded it. In VR, you could just reach in the container. Oh, we were <laughs> we were just here. That's just pointing me at the library. I'm getting really confused here. Oh, she's a good neighbor. <laughs> Not at the corner store. She's a good neighbor. You gotta zoom in on the map. Here we go. Ah, she's in here. How you doing? You're back. How'd it go at the library? Get rid of those super minions. I managed to fight my way through the library. Oh, and I dropped off that book of yours. <laughs> Only 200 years past due. I know it was an odd request, but thanks for making the library a safer place. We gotta keep some old buildings sacred, you know. Here's your money. Nice, okay. The quest was just a bit confusing. Well, thank you for the... Hey, Daisy means a lot to me that you made the library a safer place. Thanks again. Now you're here to trade. Nah, 
Not now. You rush in, you rush out. Okay, that's done. Now You're let's. Blocking my light, doll. <laughs> that diner's a bit closer. We'll head up the diner. If I've released a game on the Vive, you don't think you could resist throwing money. Because Valve's games are gold. And their engine is perfectly modular, so it can be adapted to anything. Just look how many different game types the Half-Life 2 engine served. Yeah, no kidding. It did, uh... It did a lot. I played a lot of those games. <laughs> Especially the horror games that came out on that engine. I remember. So I remember way back in the early days. Hello. When we started this game. Um. I was really low level. I was bad at shooting. And scopes didn't work yet. So the gunners that are camped out over here. I could not do. See, now I can shoot. That wasn't me, by the way. That was him. I'm not gonna take credit for that. Middle of hitting insects is a bit hard. Oh, yeah, now we can do this because I'm higher level and the scopes work. So. Hello? Hello? What are you doing in here? Just chilling? I've already been in here, haven't I? I guess it respawned, maybe. Or maybe I just haven't been back. Gosh, we haven't been on this side of the world in a long time. Long ass time. Imagine Gary's mod 2 in the vibe. Oh dear. <laughs> Ever play Valve's The Lab? I totally did, yeah. It was fun. Is that you, McCready? McReady? Yeah, it is you, isn't it? Alright, we need to be careful here. Fact. I'm gonna pull out my scope. Tagging. Are the gunners not there? Surely the gunners are there. No, they're definitely there. They're firing. not tagging though wait my gun wouldn't pull the trigger there it went. safety off I think we have company Hit that 
turret from here. The recon on my scope's not working. That's weird. Or the gunner is immune to my tracking. Oh, that was a sweet shot. The only thing about Elite Dangerous is if uh, you're not familiar with the controls, you might have a bit of a hard time because, of course, if you're wearing the headset, <laughs> you can't see the controls, so... I got a Steam controller that I mapped to uh, use the ship flight controls in Elite Dangerous. Because trying to find any of that on a keyboard with the headset on during a, during a uh, fight <laughs> wasn't going to happen. Got, oh, these guys got attacked by bots again. I'm gonna make this solid tape. Isn't there usually a doctor down here? I guess they're not here right now. I do, what of it? It's just up ahead. stacks. <laughs> well, there you are. Creedy, go have some fun. Oh. Oh, hi. Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. <laughs> Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. You can change your face. I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Your base was under a donut shop? That's awesome. It's a lot better than it sounds. 
Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail right. signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never got on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. All right. Well, let's do it then. Hang on, I gotta keep up with this dude. <laughs> Quick save. I'll pause. There we go. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, keep going. Don't wait for me. I mean, wait for me, but don't wait for me. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Intuitive, no one would figure that out. Arrow, using arrows to point direction? You sneaky bastards. Plus I notice your glasses are one-sided. They've only called the polygon on one side. Right there. What? I didn't hear what you said, sorry. One listening. I was I was looking at aggressive culling. Are you just gonna leave these corpses? Baseball <laughs> and my silver locket. Oh, look at this. And another. They're probably close. Mm -hmm. Ah, nice. Pistol shot from clear up here. I shot a dog. I'm all over look there. Me. That was a bit high. <laughs> oh, I'm acing it. Ah, oh, I used to suck shooting in this game. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, I didn't want to show you guys up, but I think I kind of showed you guys up. Alright. Any more secret arrows? I don't know if I'll recognize them. Here is great. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, Mine is in the shop. Trust me. 
Alright. Let's go. Excuse me. Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? You have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. She's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. About goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Are you in danger? I signed on for light recon. But that little slocum's jaw of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches. <sighs> if I haven't been made yet, I'll be spotted when I leave here. I'm goddamn trapped. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. What do you mean by chrome dome synths? You know, them early model synths. Looks like metal wrapped over mechanical innards. You see them here and there doing who knows what for the Institute. So, I mean, I feel like you're being a little bit problematic, you know. You're only after out to save the cute sense. <laughs> that wall is his witness. What does he even mean? Nice shot. Thanks. That was, I was, I, to be honest, Go I surprised ahead, myself. Take your time. Not like I got better. Wait. They have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. Try. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. All right. I'm taking that. Oh, you're not Deacon? Hey there. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Speaking of truth, why did you lie to Ricky? My job in the railroad is intel. That job's easier if no one knows who I am. So, I lied. I do that. <laughs> so you handled the talky talk and I got to watch from the sidelines. Go team us. Why would Ricky lie? People always got reasons to lie. The Institute could have turned him. Or, more likely, he's just seriously pissed off at us. Take your pick. He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read, too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. The donut shop has an escape tunnel? What? Doesn't everyone have an escape tunnel? Seriously, though? Thank God for that tunnel. If it weren't for that, there wouldn't be any railroad left. All right. Let's move out. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Love this pistol. This thing packs a punch, and I'm actually not half bad with it. It was so much better once I took the scope off the dang thing. And yeah, my trackpad stuck. <laughs> uh. The wall could be a reference to the next Fallout 4 game, but Bethesda loves hiding small hints in their games. Point towards the next game, Fallout 4 was released was teased in small side quest Fallout 3 when receiving rates. Yeah, the the what was it called? The oh, for fuck's sake, what was it called? Some, the something man. I remember that quest. Oblivion is into that. If once given in the construction set C D. Yeah, I've there's no doubt. Some people have speculated that this might go to San Francisco because of um, that's where Kellogg was from. Um, now, of course, Fallout 2 was in that kind of region, but uh, you know, Bethesda didn't own Fallout until 3, so 
it's not entirely unlikely that they might go back. And plus there was, you know, some story bits left off there. So there's potential some people are saying that might be where they go to. Since they've, you know, that's where Kellogg's from, and I think they've referenced it elsewhere. So I don't know. There's there's potential for it. I'd like to. I'd honestly like to see what happened in other countries, because I mean, sure, well, you know, the United States got fucked, but we're anywhere else. Love to find out that it turns out the United States was the only place that was hit. Everywhere else in the world is fine, and they just broke contact off with the states. Everywhere else is a utopia, but the U.S. was blown to shit be hilarious. Oh, I didn't get that power armor. Oh, cool, I'll get it then. Oh yeah, I couldn't last time I was here because I didn't have the hacking skill. What's the point of picking up that junk? Oh my god. Yeah, that was very low skill when I came over here. Go and grab it. Uh... Yes. Open the door. Did not hit open the door. Open the door. Please. Ah, there we go. Here we are. Hey, power armor. Another one for my collection. This one's actually got the helmet. What? <laughs> go. wonder what happened to Australia in the Fallout world. Kangaroos took over. The sloths, who knows. No, the sloths mutated. Became lightning quick. Like freaking xenomorphs. And just took everyone out. <laughs> and then of course the drop bears. <laughs> they became explosive. <laughs> I can't even see it because of the greenery mod I've got installed. Alright, I do have to go soon, actually. <laughs> I know I'm going well over time, and I just heard my girlfriend get home, so. The back entrance is safer, but be ready. So it's time you learn why we're here. Mm. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. What can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? The synths didn't start off as nigh perfect copies of human beings. The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. What's there to be divided about? Everyone wants to liberate the Gen 3s, the human-looking synths. Some of the synths in the railroad, like Glory, think we should help earlier models, too. But Gen 1s are basically the same as, well, a Protectron. So the line gets muddy. Do we defend AI rights? Terminals? Hell, turrets? Anytime it gets brought up, pow, fireworks. All the old arguments flare up. The upshot is Glory and some others won't run missions like this. Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. I'm risking my neck here. I want to know what I'm risking it for. So I'll be straight with you, although you're not going to like it. I have no idea what the prototype does. Us railroad agents are treated like mushrooms, kept in the dark and fed... Well, you get the idea. It's got to be important, though. Des wouldn't risk our hides lightly. Ready to go. Oh, wait, I remember this Override mission. This one's going to be a little bit, isn't it? Oh, dear. Oh, did I skip, like, a... 
billion bits of chat. Oh, I did, <laughs> didn't I? Uh, we have the find your dad, now you have the find your son. The next one's going to be the concept find your relative. I was thinking, you know, find your grandpa <laughs> or something. Oh, and he brought grill. Oh, sweet. You're home and brought grill, whether for you. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Oh, Germany was wiped well, out altogether in the rest of Central this. Europe. Completely uninhabitable. No. 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 Ah, missed one. <laughs> He's over there just doing it for me. Prototypes deeper inside. Kangaroo death claws. Uh, two ton drop bears. The nuclear. <laughs> Alright. We might have to quit here, actually. I can't remember how long this bit is. He's already gotten it open, so let's... Someone left a rail sign here. Uh, this one is dangerous. Yeah, we know. Yeah, I think I remember this one's gonna be a little bit, so... I probably need to go. Let's see, I need to check the time. Yeah, it's 6 o'clock. And I've made up for the time of being a bit late this morning, so... Quit, you just joined. I know, my streaming schedule is, is kind of early. But there are the VODs, and I do upload these to YouTube, though YouTube's a little bit behind. Uh. Plus this Saturday, this Saturday I'm planning on streaming a lot, so if nothing if nothing comes up for Saturday, I'm planning on streaming a lot. And we'll probably still be playing this, because uh, there's, no, there's no way in the next two days I decide I'm done with this game, so... Um, yeah, like I say, if something, if nothing she comes up, really I'll be taught me streaming what most of the day. Could mean that day. So, and it was delicious. <laughs> Fate sword. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Let's see. Yeah, and then anyone watching this on YouTube, I won't be, uh... <laughs> By the time this video posts on YouTube, it'll have already happened. Uh, Alright. No while is long enough when enjoying my streams. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. It means a lot to me. I actually need to update the time that my Twitch page says. It's on an hour earlier than it says. <laughs> I haven't updated the graphic yet, because I now do four hours a day instead of three hours. So, so yeah, Saturday there'll be a, a, a fairly long stream I'm planning on, as long as I feel all right. Okay, right now let's let's play the game of will the new will the other microphone work? I, my nice red face, oh, my shoulder too. Let's see, is this microphone going to buzz out? No, it actually works, thank goodness. <laughs> uh. Alright, so, yep, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll be doing more. We're now continuing with the railroad, so we're actually doing some of the main quest line. Um, ah, my shoulder really hurts. Um... Yeah, like I say, there'll be a stream probably this Saturday, most of the day. Nothing comes up. Because um, my girlfriend will be out of town that weekend. Uh, let's see. Anything else? No. Just just Fallout stuff. Have a good one, Kagan. Uh, sorry if I say that wrong. Kagan. Kagan. Kagan, maybe. All right, guys. Um, yeah, back tomorrow with Fallout 4 VR. Continue with the railroad quests. Uh, yeah. So let me pop that down. Get up there. It is. All right, guys. Have a great one. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great afternoon. Bye bye. Bye bye.